Hello! Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. First and foremost, I have to show off the fit. I got a new dress and I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I had to actually like style it for you guys. Um, stupid to be this excited about a dress, but I really like it. So I used it as an excuse to bust out a full like <laughs> Ren Fair fit, which also I think kind of goes well with our project today. But this month's project is going to be a little smaller again because I actually spent most of this month creating a cosplay for and attending Katsukon in Maryland. Um, so it's a anime and cosplay convention and I made a Queen Sonia cosplay from Tears of the Kingdom. Um, I'll post a couple pictures now to show you, but part of that costume, um, I actually made a basket full of strawberries for her to carry around because if you know anything about the game, the very first photo that people saw of Queen Sonia was a leaked image from the art book where she was carrying a basket of strawberries. And for a long time, people just called her Strawberry Girl because they didn't know who she was yet. So I just felt like it was super iconic to who the character was. And I also was able to rig the basket up so that it was actually hollow and openable. And I kind of used it as my purse uh, going through the convention. So let me go grab it and I'll get it to show you. All right, here is what we are making today. On top, it looks like it's full of strawberries and flowers, but if you open it up, it actually is completely empty so that you can carry stuff around. So this was super easy to make. And when I got the basket for this project, I actually picked up two baskets because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use yet. So I'm going to essentially recreate this craft and make one for my friend to have for Ren Fair. I already went to Dollar Tree and picked out a bunch of flowers and greenery that I think she'll like. So really all today is, is a come hang out and craft with me and watch TV with me as I glue a hundred flowers onto a basket. <laughs> so if that interests you, let's go. So first things first, let me give you maybe a little closer up look of this guy. Here he is. And then for the lid, quote unquote, I literally just used poster board connected with packing tape as hinges or joints. And then I glued the back piece into place. So that back piece won't come up, but the other two pieces will. I'll get started on it and kind of walk you through what I'm gonna be doing. And then I might switch to a time-lapse so I can watch Chopped because I have the attention span of a five-year-old. But the main thing I wanted to talk about is this basket is essentially long this way with the handle. So it made sense to have it open to the handle. I think I want to do the same thing here. So instead of just having to open long ways, which would make no sense, it needs to open towards the handle. So I, what I think I'm gonna try to do is make it a two segment lid that opens to the handle. But first things first is I have to take off all the ribbon and stuff that's already on here, clean it up, and decide whether I'm going to paint it or not. It's very good. I'm gonna watch Hulu now. All right, I did a very basic repair job, just gluing down the worst offenders um, so that they couldn't unravel anymore, just any of the really broken pieces. Honestly, I'm satisfied with where it is at for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start templating the lid. It's not quite gonna be wide enough. So I might have to do a little surgery on this poster board.
and I am just covering myself in poster board shavings. This is what it looks like in my house when I craft. It's not pretty. Okay, I think I've got the basic shape going on here. Um, and now I am going to cut her in half and start gluing in the non-flappy flappy side. What actually needs to happen next is I need to put these pieces together with the quote unquote hinge in between, which again is literally just a piece of packing tape that lets it flap up. So let me get started on that. Alright, so this is going to sound a little weird, but what you want to make sure is that the tape crease in between here, you want the tape to, I don't know how to explain this, it needs to go down inside and, and be pushed into the wedge and meeting the bottom tape. Um, so it isn't like I just put two pieces, bonk, bonk. What I actually did was I essentially... Almost like if I fold it in half and then put a piece of tape over it like this. And that's what helps it bend so nicely. Because if you just put the pieces on either side, it would then be fighting the tension on either side. This gave it, this reduced the tension on it. I don't know how to explain that in physics terms because I have intuitive science and no actual science. So you just have to trust me on this. I have a lid. So I'll be able to glue the lid in and then it can flap up like this. <laughs> have made progress <laughs> so you can tell that it's gotten later and colder because I have ditched to the corset and added a sweater but here's where I'm at you can see just how much glue I put around the edge um, I added a lip of packing tape that let me glue it against the side and then I essentially reinforced around the top edge here now I have a flappy flap but again, since this basket goes straight down and this could fall too far down in, I'm going to take a couple strips of the poster board and I'm going to glue them inside so they'd be like a lip for the uh, lid to rest on so that it can't fall too far into the basket. So I'm just gonna put those on and then we can get to the fun stuff. Weirdo. So I asked my friend what their favorite flowers slash color um, are. They listed off a couple different purple flowers that Dollar Tree does not stock, but I went with the purple vibe and I got a lot of flowers. So let me show you what I got from Dollar Tree. Keep in mind, I have a full box of artificial flowers in my home already that I just keep on hand. But I was like, no, none of these are good enough. I need to buy new ones. So I'm going with a very English cottage lavender field um, vibe. So what I could do is literally take the flower heads off and glue them on individually which is what I did for the other one. Um, so it's a very mound-like, you know, like you can only see flower heads. They're all at the top. Instead, what I'm going to do is much more of a, these are stems laid into the basket and they'll just be bunched up. So they'll mostly, they'll all be facing the same direction and the heads will be gathering over at one end. Um, so that might cause me a little bit of problems trying to 
get both ends covered, but I really think this is gonna look the most realistic um, as long as I don't make it too heavy one way or the other. Oh my gosh. Hello! As you can tell, it is a different day because this has taken me way longer than I thought it was going to. But I can confidently say that we are now in the home stretch and I have figured out what I am actually going to do. So, without any ado, because I really need to get a move on on this, um, we're just going to hop right in and I'm gonna start finishing the side of the basket. I am going to take this moss that I dyed. I'm going to use that to cover the ends of the stems. And then I am going to put in a little apothecary jar full of pine cones and then scatter some pine cones and amethyst bits around this side as well. So here she is in all of her glory. I truly don't know why this basket took me so long to make. Um, I was really just kind of bouncing around from idea to idea because I really wanted to make sure that this actually matched one of my friend's specific Renfair outfits. Um, so is it the most practical basket on earth? No. Is it more fun than any other practical basket? Absolutely. Look at this. Take her basket. Oh my gosh. Look at that. How's she doing that? How is it how is it still holding things? How's nothing falling out? Oh my gosh. Magic. And I'm in love with it. Um, I almost wish I could keep it for myself, but that would be kind of evil. So, um I think this is honestly a really easy and cheap project to do, depending on what's available at your local thrift store or Dollar Tree. Um, all of these items are super easily thrifted or, you know, picked up for just a couple bucks. Um, some of this stuff, you know, these pine cones, I collected those from around my work. So this does not have to be an expensive project, but it's very impactful and it's very helpful for something like a convention or a ren fair where you want to have something to hold your items, but you want it to still look in character. This has been a great project and great success so thank you so much for hanging out with me today um join me in march for another project and have a wonderful day